Hey everybody, welcome back to Kathy Lapierre Art. So today I'm gonna try and do something similar to the last piece that I did that had the little petal-shaped slices that I had cut from a um, wrapping paper tube. This time I thought I was try and make something more like stripes. And I actually had some cardstock that I purchased just at Walmart. It's just thicker paper basically. So I figured I would give this a try. Um, I'm going to put this in a leaf shape mold and attempt to put them in, you know, at different angles. Maybe I'll, you know, swoop them around. Maybe I'll do some shorter ones, but see what I come up with. So I'm going to have to play with it. But first, what I need to do, so I did go ahead and cut a bunch of these strips out of just a regular 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Now you'll notice that from end to end, it's not quite long enough this way. All you have to do is turn your piece diagonally and you have more length from corner to corner, just like they measure TVs, corner to corner. So this way is how I cut my pieces. So you'll notice that they all have an angle on them because I just kept cutting. Um, I'm gonna do some shorter ones, longer ones, but what I'm gonna do next is actually take all these pieces, I'm gonna spray paint them gold on both sides and really make sure I get those edges because the edges are where they're gonna be showing on the bottom of the mold when we take it out. So they really need to be coated well, but I'm gonna do both sides in case anything is sticking up again. Um, and we're gonna see what we get. So I'll spray paint these back for the next part. See you guys soon. Hey guys, all right, I'm back for the next part. So what I did was I took that paper I had showed you before, the um, white cardstock, and I cut it on the diagonal to get some nice long pieces. And I just cut a whole bunch of those out, and then I laid them in this plastic bin that I have, um, just an old bin that I used to keep old parts in. Um, I emptied it out, threw these in there, and spray painted them both sides, but I really made sure to get the edges because that's what's going to be showing when this is placed in here. So I didn't know how many or what I wanted, so I just cut as many as I thought I needed and just kind of went crazy. So we may have to cut these and play around, but we're going to place these in here and figure out what we're going to do. But first things first, I made up some resin and I made up way too much. I was so excited thinking about all the colors and different stuff I was going to put in here. I made way too much. Basically all you need is enough to do a thin coating on the bottom so that you can stick the paper pieces in here. You don't need to start filling it until you get to the next level, which is the colors. So I didn't need to make so much resin. So I might have to make something else in this video since I made it already. I can't waste it. Now this is a much thinner mold than what I was using before, so I need to make sure that I do a much thinner layer of the resin. Just the clear part anyways. Just trying to make sure it's getting all the way down into these little end pointy parts here. And even still, like it's filled, it looks like a third, almost half the way. And I was trying to be really be careful. And look at how much resin I still have left over. I still have about four ounces left. I made six. I didn't need to do that. So yeah, only make two ounces if you have this mold. So we're going to take these pieces and... They're paper, so you can bend them however you want, but I think I do want one at the longest point here. And I'm gonna hopefully get this to stand on its side, like that. I don't have any particular design in mind, no rhyme or reason to how these are going in. I'm just placing them in and wherever they're staying and not giving me too much trouble is, is where I'm pretty much going to leave them. Um, I might put in a few smaller pieces just so that I can create um, some overlapping of some of the colors, but I might not. It, it depends on what this allows me to do. So, so far so good. Now this, because it bends this way, this part seems like it would be a little shorter. So I think I need a slightly shorter piece for here. Yep, just like that. Oop. 
doesn't want to stand upright. Now remember it is paper, you can sort of bend it. I don't want to put any harsh bends in it and have that show up in my resin afterwards. Um, but you can pick it up and move it around a little bit. This piece is kind of giving me trouble, but I don't want to bend it and take it out of the resin and create too many bubbles. So I'll probably end up leaving that one the way it is. All right, um, hmm. Maybe a short one for over here. It's too short. It's something longer than that. All right, let's try this one. There we go. I'm still not in love with this one here. It's just kind of doing its own thing, but as long as it creates the wall that I want, I guess that's what matters. So I kind of like this. I'm debating if I want to put some slants in here somehow, which I think I could do if I cut these. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If it doesn't work, I'll just take it out. So I'm just going to cut one in half. And I might give it a little bit of a curl just to help it stand upright. Nope, don't like that. Alright, we're going to leave it alone. I think we're just going to do solid stripes of colors because that's what it wants to do. So I'm still just not loving this bend here though. Yeah, that's better. Giving me trouble. There. I keep saying there and then I keep touching it. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna leave this to cure. Um, once this is hardened up, I'm gonna come back and mix up some more resin to do the colors and pour those into the different areas. So we'll leave this to cure. I'll come back and probably, I'd say even two, two hours, I should be good to do the next part of this. So I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, all right, so this is all cured up. Um, everything is in place where I want it, so I'm happy with how that turned out. Um, I have everything ready to go. All my colors are mixed up. So my very first color, which has a little bit of a foaminess going on here, let me just hit it with the heat gun so you can see it. So this beautiful sparkly color is by Counterculture. This glitter is called Lux Life. Then I'm also going to be using this mica powder, which doesn't look like a whole lot in the cup. It's kind of dark right now. Um, this one's called Green Hornet. This is also by Counterculture. This is a resin dye by Let's Resin. This is just a um, emerald green. Had to put a lot in there though. I'd say probably 10 to 12 drops to get this color. Um, this beautiful gold, uh, green, excuse me, green mica is by Black Diamond, and this is also called Emerald Green. And last but not least, I'm going to be adding in some gold stones, gold nuggets into one of these sections as well as these beautiful green gems. Um, I thought that they were some sort of, oh, jade or something like that, but it doesn't say what they are. It just says green agate stone chips. So we'll put those in, whatever they are. They're pretty, so <laughs> no big deal. So all I'm gonna do is take my cups and just give them a little pinch. And I'm trying to decide now, where do I want my stones and my gold? I think my gold is gonna need to go on one of these intersections. So. Maybe I'll do this right here. Now I'm just trying to be careful to keep it inside the area that I'm pouring. Oh, and see, I already poured it outside into the wrong space. 
I am such a slob. All right, and of course, I don't have any more Q-tips up here. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do this with just some paper towel and a stick. Let's see. Let's kind of... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. I thought I was being careful. So much for that, huh? All right, I'm gonna get most of it. I'm just gonna use a little bit of alcohol on a piece of cotton, and then I should be able to get those last couple pieces. Yeah, you think you're careful, it's just, it's never enough. Someplace. Find it. Hmm. Oh. I have these little come on. Oh, this is just so frustrating. Okay. I think maybe that section's gonna end up getting something like the gold. <laughs> That's irritating. And I'm just gonna give this a little tip just to help get this down into the points here. Just trying to move it down. Okay, and then back the other direction. And I do have a little bit more in here, so we're gonna dump it all in. can get this down the other end. And that's it. We're just trying to fill up the spaces. Now they're by no means level or even or anything like that. So you really have to be careful. You can see on this end that if I go too high, it's going to overflow and end up in the wrong side. So I really have to be careful. Um, but I think as far as that section, I think that's good. I don't have to add any more. <clears throat> so my gold stones or my gold nuggets, I think I'm going to use my, my little spoon here. And just really carefully, even though I just dropped them right in the green. You see that? Yikes. I'm so clumsy. All right, we're gonna take that out because you don't go there. I can't get it off. Can't get this piece out. Doesn't want to let go. Come on. Ah. And now I can't see it. I lost it. <laughs> It'll probably show up on the other side. That'll figure. All right, well, whatever. I'm just going to give this a little shake. I am going to pick up these pieces that fell into the empty space here because they don't go there. Ah. <laughs> We're going to get them. We're going to get them. All right, we did it. All right, we're going to try something different. So I just dumped a bunch in there. And again, very carefully. Just try and spread them out a little bit. All right, I definitely need more, but that's getting better. I think that technique probably worked the best, so we're going to stick with it. Now the only downside to using stones like this is that when you do it, sometimes they um, they create air bubbles. So it's you know you have to be careful. I don't own a pressure pot or a vacuum chamber. Sometimes I wish I did because I think I would get a a much clearer result with things like this. But it is what it is. Like I I don't have those things. 
kind of a bummer, but all right, so that's our two sections. Now we're going to take this, let's see, I think I'll do a different section with this one. Let's do an outer area. This is a really pretty goldish green. And this is similar in technique to the one I did with the petals. However, this one you don't have to, um, yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, you don't have to do whatever I was gonna say. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. That's better. <laughs> Yikes. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm just going to clean off the edges a teeny bit here because I got some up on the sides here, but I was trying to make sure that I got it all the way up into this point because it's, I don't want any air bubbles to form. There we go, all right, that looks good. So it doesn't have to be neat, we can always go back and top coat it with clear if we need to, we just wanna make sure we have enough color for each section. Um, let's see, I think this pretty green should go right in here, And again, just tilting to get that color all the way down. You can see it right in there. It needs to fill in that space. And I'm still gonna use my toothpick to help get it all the way down there. That looks pretty good. And this will self-level back to normal so we can put that right there. So I'm liking how that looks so far. The colors are gonna be really pretty together. All right, now I have my green mica and it's starting to warm up so we gotta get this in here quickly. starting to cure so I had the heater on in this room trying to get this room nice and warm so that my resin would be ready quickly and it's it's a little ready a little too quickly okay so we'll give this a little tip it's in, it's, it's really struggling to pour quickly but you can see how slow it's moving So that's filled. Now I do have a little bit of clear left in the, oh, I did, it, it hardened. See, this is what happens when your room's too warm. Flash cure. All right, so I need to mix up a little bit more resin. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm so sorry. So I ended up mixing up four more ounces of resin. Um, this room was just too hot today, so uh, unfortunately I just overheated my resin a little bit. It happens. 
So I'm going to just drizzle a tiny bit of clear into this last section. This is the one that's going to have the green agate stones in it, but I want to make sure that there's not too much air in there. So I'm just getting a good base with the clear first. Just to make sure. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I think the same as before, I'm going to try and use my spoon. This could be a complete failure, I don't know, because they're kind of big, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try and aim away from the resin, the green resin. <laughs> we'll see how this works out. And my goal here is just to make sure that it doesn't go above the cardboard. I don't mind if it goes, you know, if it raises up a little bit. We just don't want it to go too high above the cardboard because then you got to fish it out and make sure everything's level afterwards. Then you got to, you know, top coat and all that stuff. So. Now there are some smaller stones in here. I'm gonna try and put those closer to the ends. Like that one's got kind of a point to it. That one's sort of flat. Just try and get them in those spaces so that the rocks make it all the way over. Just getting some of the little ones to fill in space where I see pink. Just I don't want it to be too see-through. See if there's another sort of flat one. That one looks pretty good. We can jam that one in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe one more down here. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now I'm just going to keep that where it is. We're going to pour the rest of this resin in here. I'm just going to drizzle it with the stick. And again, I just wanted to make sure there weren't too many air bubbles. That's why I did it this way, so that I could really jostle them around as I went. And then we also need to pour some clear in with the gold as well. Now this will definitely have some air bubbles in it, so I'm gonna take my stick and I'm just gonna kind of poke around at them a little bit just to make sure that we're releasing anything that might be trapped at the bottom, just like that. All right, that looks pretty good. So these are just our extra stones. All right, I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun just really quick. And that's it. Let me take you guys down so you can see what we got.
All right, guys. See you in the morning for demolding. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time. My favorite part. I love demolding. Oh, it's the best part. So what I did was I actually went back over this because you can see all my little cardboard pieces that are stuck in there. Um, I put a little bit too much resin in this section where the green stones are, so these walls are higher. So I can't do much about that. I clipped it down with my jewelry, cl uh, jewelry clippers. They're like the flat end kinds you can get in this way. So I did cut them down as much as I possibly can. I'm going to go back and throw a clear coat over this. I'm not going to bore you with that in the video, but I will show you the final result. So uh, without further ado, let's see what this baby looks like because I'm pretty excited to see how this turned out. Okay. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I think with some gold edges on here, I think it'll be beautiful. So what do you guys think? Do you love it too? I think it's really cool. Oh, there's that stone. There it is. Oh, you little bastard. <laughs> there it is. Oh, well, that's all right. It happens. It's art. It's not perfect. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like this. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit wonky, but I'm going to put feet on it anyway, so I could leave it like this. But I'm um, just me being me. I'm probably going to go back over this with a layer of clear just to get it even. Um, then I'll throw some feet on it, and then it will be perfect. So I love it. I hope you guys do, too. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.